Well, with us right now from Harvard Eye Associates is Dr. Savak Tamorian, and always good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for having yeah. me again. Appreciate Great it. Great to have good you morning, here. Good morning, everyone. And I know you float in between the two offices, the one right here, right, you can walk to it practically, right mm -hmm. over there here in Laguna Hills, and uh, then the other one, the surgery center, right, is nearby there? Is nearby there, right off the Alicia exit, and we yeah. actually have a, a third office now in Orange. Oh, you do? Yeah. Very nice. You go up to that one, too? On occasion. Ah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so you do the, you do the grand, grand Circle Tour. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. I didn't realize there was uh, an office up there. Yeah. Really good. So today we're going to talk about a subject that when people hear about it, meaning they are diagnosed with it, it's very scary to them, glaucoma. Uh, years and years ago, if you had that, it would, uh, I, you know, going back 20, 30 years ago, people were really, am I going to totally lose my eyesight? No. So there's better treatments now, better detection as well, right? Yeah, so when we're thinking about glaucoma, what we're issued about is <clears throat> there's damage to the back part of the eye, mm -hmm. that sensitive nerve, because the pressure of the eye is high. So we're always focused on trying to get the eye pressure down. The trouble we've run into with glaucoma <clears throat> in terms of diagnosing before is that all of the mechanisms that we've had to look at if someone has the glaucoma right. has already occurred some glaucoma damage. So we've always had a very reactive yes. approach to things. Yeah. So we're always constantly asking ourselves, is there a better way of doing things? Can we be a little more proactive? Mm -hmm. Which is really what we're trying to do, come up with better diagnostic tools. So instead of actually having loss of tissue, that nerve in the back, can we sense when is the tissue under stress and then get the pressure down so there is no actual point. loss of tissue? Let me ask you something along those lines, and I know we've talked about this before, the issue of uh, pressure. Mm -hmm. Are we talking about blood pressure? It, it's something that somebody uh, comes in and presents to you with high blood pressure. Maybe you ask their medical history. They say, well, you know, I have high blood pressure on occasion. Is that a warning sign? Uh, usually not of high blood pressure because we're talking about a separate compartment. This is okay. actually eye pressure within the eye. Ah, They're actually okay. unrelated. Okay. Yeah. There's over 40 types of glaucoma. One type in particular okay. is associated with low blood pressure. Really? Yeah. Now, although I will encourage wow. people with high blood pressure to get it under control, it's best for the eye. But in terms of glaucoma, <clears throat> it's not really associated with it. Ah, I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize there were over 40 different kinds of glaucoma. Yeah, the good wow. part about all that is the end result is how do you take care of those patients? Mm -hmm. It still comes down to bringing the eye pressure down. It's either gonna be through an option of eye drops, laser, or surgery. Okay, and what we're seeing here is some how technology has been improved. I mean, you go back to uh, you know the, the drawing here. Uh, it's just, it's remarkable what can be done, especially on this last photo here. Yeah, it, a lot of it has changed, and this goes right along with what we were talking about. Are there ways of diagnosing patients earlier before there's damage? Mm -hmm. And there really, in theory, was one. It's electrophysiology, or measuring the electrical current across a nerve. In this okay. case, it would be the eye. We call that an ERG, or electroretinography. This technology occurred, but as you saw, their big instruments used to be at the university, would take patients over an hour with an electrode on their eye. It just right. wasn't a practical <clears throat> thing to do. Right. But technology is changing so quickly that now we can do this in the office. It takes about five to 10 minutes. The electrodes actually go underneath okay. the eyelid and gives us that information that we're looking for. A really okay. significant advance is very exciting. Let me ask you along those lines, who would uh, benefit from this in that someone comes in to see you, how do you make that determination? You know, we better check this out. Is this part of a normal eye exam? This part of it wouldn't be. This would be anyone that you would consider to be suspicious for developing glaucoma okay. or does have glaucoma. Okay. So we still rely on some of the other parts of our examination to note for that. But the best part is even if it's somewhat questionable, this is something we can turn right around and do in the mm -hmm. office. All right. And here we're looking at uh, earlier intervention to decrease the need for larger surgery. Yeah, this is, again, gives you a perfect example of how much technology has changed. This is actually the back part of the eye, the retina. So the film of the eye or the film of the camera okay. in the eye. And <clears throat> what we're talking about is all the different layers, and there's about 11 different layers back yeah, there. Yeah, I see that. But this is on the level of microns. 
Wow. So a lot less than a millimeter that yeah, we're talking that's about. Amazing. And that's really all we're looking for is just subtle changes. So in the <coughs> ERG, what we were talking about before, there's a loss of a particular layer, the retinal ganglion cell layer. Okay. Right up in that top part. So it's actually sensing just a small change or the electrical activity in that area. Okay. What do you find when you do a normal eye exam, which would uh, facilitate you folks to take that next step? And, and do a more thorough exam to check for glaucoma. I always tell patients diagnosing <clears throat> them with glaucoma is really putting a puzzle together. So there's okay. a couple of things. Any one of them would trigger extra testing. One of them would be a higher pressure if it was over 20. Okay. Another one would be if we're actually looking in the nerve in the back part of the eye, I always describe it as a donut with a donut hole. Right. If the donut okay. hole is a little bigger than normal, that would also make it a little suspicious. So there's a couple of things that we're looking at. In, in also family history would be another thing. Okay. Now as far as detecting the pressure in the eye, how do you do that during a normal eye exam? Is that I, I remember going in for the eye exam, is that the dye? Uh, yes. Okay. There's a couple different versions of it. The gold standard way still of doing it is putting a little bit of a dye. It almost has a yellowish, greenish yeah, hue yeah, to it. Yeah, I remember. And then we shine a blue light that actually measures the pressure of the eye. Okay. There are other methods of doing it, but that's still considered the gold standard way of doing it. Okay. So let's say you get to that step, as you, you said, and uh, you detect it early. What would be the first level of treatment? Would it be eye drops? It would be eye drops, or there's actually a laser that works really well for that, okay. too. I consider them the same risk. Uh, what we're trying to do is keep patients' eye pressure under control with either eye drops or laser procedures. And what's even more exciting, we've talked about technology, yeah. but there's a lot of new research coming out in new medications, but also new ways of providing okay. the medication. We're part of uh, multiple research studies oh, that's that are involved nice. with that. And hopefully within the next year to a few years, we're even going to have better ways of doing it. So we're always pushing the envelope of doing things better, which is really exciting for us. What about maintaining it? In other words, they have a certain level of glaucoma, uh, hopefully detected early. Can you prevent it from uh, getting more serious? Yeah, and I think that's one of the most common concerns people have when they're diagnosed with glaucoma. They say, how long do I have to see? I'm usually the rest of your life, that's what the plan is. That's what we're right. gonna to try to do. And people ask, what is it that I can do to do well with this? And it always comes down to really two things that I always stress in the office. Make sure you keep your appointments, and if you're on eye medication, use them. If most people are able to do that, I would say over 95% of people, if we do that consistently, we're gonna do perfectly fine. Oh, that's, that's good news. Mm -hmm. So, how often should somebody, if they don't have a lot of family history, get their eyes examined. You still once a year or so? At least once a year just to maintain a healthy eye exam. That'll mm -hmm. catch uh, any diseases that we want to catch early. Okay. And if something uh, shows up that's concerning, we can augment that around a little bit. Okay, very good. So it doesn't have to be as scary as it used to be. I mean, people obviously are going to be, mm -hmm. uh, you know, have some anxiety about it, which is totally normal. Mm -hmm. But with early detection and, and uh, early treatment, it can be held back for hopefully the rest of their lives. I think it's a lot like everything else in life. The biggest fear is the anxiety of waiting to do it. Right. And once you actually do it, you realize it's okay. So please come on in and get yourself checked out. All right, always good to see you. Great to see you too, thank, thank you, you again. Thank you very much. Appreciate and, it. Uh, maybe you'll catch Dr. T over here at Laguna Hills because you can see he's gotta get on his, uh, his bike or Uber all around to the different offices because <laughs> he's a busy guy. But uh, either way, he's a great guy, as are all the doctors over there at uh, Harvard Eye. And, uh, you know, get your eyes checked out. Uh, just uh, if you haven't done it in a while, that's the main thing to do, just at that starting point. And uh, if something gets detected, you know, start that treatment, you know. Good to see you. Thank, Thank you again. You very Appreciate much. it. Say hi to everyone. I will. Have Thank a great you Fourth again. Of July. Appreciate it. You too. All right. We'll be right back.